Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we welcome you to our track meet today between Burroughs High School and visiting Wilson Runners High School. to your marks. Our first event today is the 440 for girls, group four. Set. Jack and I, our daughter Kristen, was the joy of our lives. Beautiful and bright, her future seemed filled with promise. We often teased her about being our perfect kid. I didn't realize until it was too late how seriously she took that, or what a burden it must have been. My name is Suzanne Guthrie, and this is our story. There she was, neck and neck with this girl from the Wilson team. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, she turned it on. <clears throat> well, you tell him. It was no big deal. <sighs> the coach thinks that they have a chance at the state finals. And our daughter is the star of the team. The state finals? Wow. The colleges consider things like that, you know? And what with Scotty being so scarce these days? Why could I always go to a JC? Junior college? No way, you're going to the university. You deserve that. You know, um, a school play's coming up, and I thought maybe this year I'd try out. It sounds like fun. Yeah, and if I do well, maybe I could get a drama scholarship. Mm. Honey, how on earth would you find the time? I mean, between your studies and track practice. Well, I thought maybe I'd cut back on track. Oh, Kristen, you've made a commitment. There are a lot of people depending on you. Your mom has a point, honey. Tell you what, stick with it this year and do your best. And then next year, if you still want to try out for the school play, well, it'll be fine with us. All right? Good. I hope Kristen wasn't too disappointed tonight. No, I don't think so. If I could just write a check, you know? Send her to any college she wants. I know, honey. But Jack, scholarship money isn't anything to be ashamed of. I mean, they don't just give it out to anybody, you know? It's an honor. And besides, this way, Kristen will feel like she's contributing something. Thanks. For what? for knowing what I needed to hear. So what did they say then? The usual. They're proud of me. They want me to go to some major big deal college. The thing is, I really do love them for that. It's just they never listen to what I want, you know? <laughs> you show my parents I can't do anything right for them. They think I'm the world's biggest loser. Oh. But hey, I never disappoint them, right? <laughs> Janine, stop it. You're not a loser. Come on. Okay? I think so. Do you always go screeching around corners like that? I'm really sorry. I didn't see you there. Yeah, sure. He said he was said he sorry. And I am. It was really stupid. Can you forgive me? Yeah, okay. Great. My name's Kenny. Um, I'm Janine. And this is my friend Kristen. Kristen? It's a pretty name. Thanks. Um, I gotta go. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gotta let me make this up to you. How about I buy the two of you some ice cream or something? <laughs> cool. I don't know. Oh, Kristen, come on. We're gonna go for one anyway. I know, but it's late. You go ahead. Well, 
If you're sure. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, Kristen. So where'd you go? What'd you guys talk about? Well, we went for an ice cream and we talked about you. Me? Good serious. I am. Hanging out with you is getting really bad for my ego, Guthrie. Well, what'd you tell him? I told him you have bad breath, B.O., and you pick your nose. <laughs> Everything okay in here? Oh, yeah, Mom. I'm just talking to Janine. Well, wrap it up. You have track practice in the morning. I know, I will. <sighs> Janine, you didn't really say that, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I told him you were great, the best. What else would I say? I told you I wanted this. I see it forever. I wish I could see that. I wish I could see that. <laughs> What should I do? Go for it. He is such a babe. Well, I feel bad. I know you like him. Oh, no, forget about it. Besides, I am not above using you as bait. Maybe he has some cute friends. <laughs> you sure? Come on. Hurry up before Claudia and Sharon get their claws in him. Hi. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. For me? I couldn't stop thinking about those pretty eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess I uh, thought you might want to show a lonely stranger around town. First you almost killed me, and now you want me to do you a favor? Oh, <laughs> I'm wounded. I'm deeply, deeply wounded. You're also pretty weird. Oh, I'm a nice guy. Honest, tell her. I'm, am I a nice guy, Janine? Go on. Well, there's not much to see. I mean, the whole town's only one street long. Is that a yes? <laughs> Your chariot awaits. Eat your heart, Val. See, I mean, you just pick up and go anywhere you want. That's about the size of it. Right now, I'm just out to see the country. I take jobs here and there whenever I need money. Wow, that sounds great. I wish I could do that. So what's stopping? School, uh, the track team, college, the rest of my life. It sounds like you got everything all planned out. My parents. What do you want? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. You gotta have a dream. They say... You're not alive unless you have dreams. Promise not to laugh? I'd never laugh at you. Well, I've always wanted to see Hollywood. Maybe try some acting. Oh, you do great out in L.A. You're exactly what they like out there. Really? You've been there? Oh, sure. I've even done some acting. You're kidding me. No. Commercials, a few TV shows, a couple of plays. Yeah, I know a lot of people out there. I can show you around. Oh. Oh, my parents would never go for that. Not in a million years. Hey, it's your life. I mean, you're not going to be the little girl forever. I'm not a little girl. Oh, that's not what I meant. I mean, in my eyes, you're not a little girl. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. My camera's in the car. I could take some pictures of you. Oh, I look awful. Oh, no. You look gorgeous. Come on. Loosen up, Kristen Guthrie. Oh, yeah. Right like that. Yeah. Whoa. Look at you. That's <laughs> a smile. Like that. Hold it. <laughs> you know, my cars never look so good. I'm just kidding. You look beautiful. Look up. Look over there. That's it, right like that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's really sexy. Oh, you got something, you know that? You really do. Hold on a second. Hold that. Don't move. Don't even breathe. Kristen, you forgot this. Oh, <laughs> thanks. No problem. Bye. Bye bye. I can see that, Kristen. He's new in town. I was just showing him around. Cool car, huh? Huh. You know, I'm not very comfortable with you riding around town with strangers. Relax, Mom. I'll meet him tonight. We're going to a movie. No, I don't think you're going anywhere tonight. You have a track meet tomorrow, remember? Why is it that every time I want something, the answer is no? Do everything you want. Oh, Kristen, you're being silly. I am not. I get the grades you want. I do the sports you, you want. What are you talking about? Why can't I have anything for me? Everything we do is for you. So maybe I don't want it. That's enough. Okay. I'm sorry. But please let me go tonight, Mom. It's really important to me. And I already told him I could go. He doesn't even have a phone yet. I can't even phone him. Please, Mom. Please don't embarrass me like this. Kenny, come on in. This is my mom and dad. Mom and dad, this is Kenny Trask. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, son. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Guthrie. Uh, these are for you. Oh. Thank you, Kenny. Would you like to sit down? Actually, we have to get going if we're going to make the early show. I'm afraid we are running a little late. Is that your Chevy out there? Yes, sir. It's a 57? Yes, sir. I, um, restored it myself. Man, I remember when those beauties came out. Would you like to drive it sometime? Are you kidding? I'd love to. We gotta go. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Have fun, kids. Bye. Hi. Hey, Kristen. Remember? Home by 10.30? Yes, Mom. He seems like a nice kid. He's too old for. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I can come in there. I'm not 21. Sure you can. You're with me. Besides, I uh, love bartending. <laughs> It's fine. I'm gonna get us some drinks. You want a beer? Okay. Yeah, sure. Give me a couple of beers. Kenny. Keep the change. Why don't that guy? There you are. I, 
I don't really know anything about you. Not much to know, really. I guess what you see is pretty much what you get. Well, where are you from? Where's your family? My family? Uh... I don't know. Don't care. You mean you never see him or talk to him? I got a couple of aunts and cousins, but nobody I'm really close to. Yeah. What do you say we liven this place up a little bit? What, dance? I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I can't really dance very well. Oh, you got to stop using that word. What word? Can't. With me, you can do anything. Now you say, go on. With you, I can do anything. Stay in one place? Maybe. I've just been looking for the right woman. Runners, to your mark. guy you can forget about seeing him anymore you can't do that oh i think i can mom please i'm sorry i blew the meat i know i let you down the point is Kristen, you let yourself down think i was asleep when you finally decided to come home last night we're not going to tell your father about any of this that'd break his heart get in the car surprises, aren't you? I've never felt like this before. Sometimes it scares me. It's kind of like uh, jumping off a cliff in the dark and not knowing where you're going to land. You do understand. Yeah, sure. You know, guys get scared too, you know. It's just a little harder for us to admit it. You know, um, I haven't let anybody get close to me in a long time. I never thought I would. Now I, uh, I don't know what I ever did without you. Oh, Kenny, I love you. I can't believe it. Kristen. See you later, Janine. Kristen, where are you going? I thought you had track practice. I'm meeting Kenny. You? No, you're going to get kicked off the team if you keep cutting. I don't care. I just want to be with him. Look, I told my mom I was going over to your place after practice. Come from a Chicago, okay? Sure, no problem. Thanks. You're the best. Why are we pulling over? I'm gonna do. 
do something I've never done before. What? Let somebody drive my car. Me? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to drive. I'll teach you. Oh, I know. It's such a nice car. I don't want to mess it up. I trust you. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is the seat back for enough? It's a little You want to go forward? You like that? Huh? <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's what you do. I'm going to start it up. All right. Okay. That's the gas. That's the brake. That put that in drive and just go. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, maybe for some people, if that's what they want to do, they... But for me, I just... Is that really what you want? No, of course not. But what am I going to do? My parents were furious when I quit the track team. I don't even want to think about how they're going to react to this. Okay, shh. You're not in this alone, you know. You got me. Really? Sure. Did you think I was gonna bail on you or something? No. 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 Now don't you worry, we're gonna take care of this. I'm gonna take care of everything, okay? My parents are gonna hate me, I just know it. You said I'd take care of everything. And I will. birthday girl. This is really nice of you to take out all this trouble on me. We always have a birthday dinner for you. Yeah, but this year, I mean, I know you and Dad are really disappointed in me. I thought we agreed we weren't going to discuss that anymore. But I want to talk about it. Mom, there's something I need to tell you. Honey, it was months ago. You didn't want to be on the track team, so fine, we certainly couldn't force you. And yes, we were disappointed, but why bring it up today, on your birthday? I just want tonight to be pleasant, okay? Okay, Mom. I'll give you a hint. It's not a car. <laughs> no, but maybe it's the keys. <laughs> Grandma's ring. Well, do you like it? Are you kidding? I've always loved this ring. It's pretty. You said you weren't going to give it to me until I turned 18. Well, honey, this year we've kind of had our ups and downs with each other. And we just wanted you to know how much we love you. And how special we think you are. That's right. You're still our perfect kid. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> Nothing. It, it's just such a wonderful gift. I'll never take it off.
Time to get up, Kristen. Wake up, sleepyhead. Gone. Kristen's gone. We're on our way. Yeah, you're gonna like this one. She's even better than a picture. We're all set. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? When you relax, everything's gonna be fine. Get right over here. I need my phone. <laughs> this is my grandmother's ring. These are all the birthstones of children and grandchildren. This one's mine. I always thought that when I had a baby, his birthstone would be at it too. And it will. Just not this baby's. Oh, come on, Kristen. You talked about this. You're no more ready for marriage and a baby than I am. I know. A kid needs a real home. Suzanne. And the people we're going to see can make that happen. I hope so. Hey, Bruno Nice. He's going to be adopted by a good family. One that really wants him and can give him a really great life. They promised us that. This really is a nice ring. Would something like this work? Sunset Limited number two announces the 1031 train to New Orleans. That's us. Sunset Limited number two announcing the 1031 train. Come on, come on. You're her best friend. Do you expect me to believe she didn't tell you where she was going? Why would she tell me? She knows I'm the first person you're going to go to. What do you mean? Please, I'm begging you. You hear all the time about girls getting raped and murdered. Please, please. Don't cry, Mrs. Guthrie. She's okay. She's not in any danger, really. How do you know that? This is her latest school picture. What can you tell me about this, Kenny? Trask, Kenny Trask. Uh, she uh, went out with him a couple times several months back, but we didn't think it was serious. We didn't even know she was still seeing him. I told her she couldn't see him anymore. And her friend, uh, Janine Cross, she has no idea where they may have gone? That's what she said. Do we have an address for this Trask fellow or a telephone number? All we know is that he's an auto mechanic. At least that's what he told us. And he drives a black 57 Chevy convertible. And Janine said that... Uh... He worked at a gas station over in Brookhurst, somewhere by the power plant. All right, we'll check it out, and I'll be in touch with you folks. In touch? I mean, you're going to go look for her, aren't you? I'll file a report, but we don't actually begin the search for 48 hours. 48 hours? Look, she could be anywhere in the country by then. Believe me, Mr. Guthrie, I've seen a lot of these cases. Your daughter will probably turn up with a wedding band on her finger. I'll tell you right now, we're not waiting around for them to do something. She fell in love with the And this will be your home until the baby is born. I think you'll find it uh, very comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> Over there is uh, the laundry. Notice me with this. And if you need any change, there's always something else. 
Oh, Bernard, I'd like you to meet our newest guests, Kristen and uh, Kenny. Ow. Bernard is the manager. He'll take care of anything you need. Here we are. Now, the kitchen has uh, pots, pans, dishes, everything you'll need. Uh, there are linens and towels in the closet. Oh, and uh, yes, there's some um, maternity clothes in there, too. Thanks. Where's the phone? Oh, there's a pay phone by the office. Now, here's $100 for food and personal expenses. You'll receive the same amount once a week. I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye. Thanks, Miss Gill. Why don't you unpack our stuff? I'll get us some food. Kenny? It's gonna be fine. Welcome to Hotel Preggers. <laughs> I grew myself. Thanks. I can't get enough of them. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and I go down and I pluck it off the vine and I just eat it without even washing it first. <laughs> it's kind of gross, huh? I'm Kristen. Donna. So, how far along are you? Five months. I'm just starting to show. Oh, you're lucky. I always pop out early. By the time I'm four months, I look like I'm six. No, oh, this is my third. Third? Yeah, well, I started early. Daddy raped me when I was 15. Nice guy, huh? Anyway, Mom couldn't handle it, so I split. It's no big deal. You know, I'm over it. Well, what happened to the baby? I don't know. And I hooked up with these people, and they found it a home. <laughs> Hell, he's probably doing better than I am. <laughs> but you're third? I don't understand. Well, see, after the first one, I didn't have any place to go. No money, no family, that's for sure. And these people said that I could stay here for free. They'd even pay me as long as I keep having babies for them. <sighs> but this one is the last. Well, what about the baby's father? <laughs> There's no fathers. I mean, but you don't know who they are. I mean, it's done in a doctor's office, you know? Kind of like getting a shot. Well, I'm glad I know who the father of my baby is, even if we're not keeping it. At least I know Kenny really loves me. Just some information. That's what the auto club is for. Hey, we're looking for Kenny Trask. What's he gone and done now? You know him? He works here? Well, when he decides to show up, yeah. Boy's a genius at engines, though. That's the only reason I put up with him. Do you know where he is now? I haven't seen him in a couple of days. But he has been living over there at that trailer. Now, if you want to go over and look, uh, maybe you'll find something there. Thank you. Thanks. That's your girl? Yes. She's a pretty one. Sweet, too. Look, I don't know whether this will be of any help or not, but you might check over at the Bishop place. Bishop? Yeah, uh, Sarah and her mom, they live over in Remington. I heard that the uh, sheriff had to run Kenny out of there just the other night. Thanks again. Mrs. 
Bishop? Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Suzanne Guthrie. This is my husband, Jack. We were hoping you could help us. We're looking for our daughter. Um, we were told you might know her boyfriend, Kenny Trask. Yes, I know Kenny. All too well. Do you know where we can find him? Our daughter ran off with him. We're afraid she might be in trouble. You've a right to be afraid. If your daughter's with Kenny, she could be in a great deal of trouble. This is my daughter, Sarah, and my grandson. Kenny's the father. Mm. Now this one's gonna bring us top dollar. You done good, old son. Thank you. We'll put this in petty cash, would you, Lorna? All right. There you are. Thank you, honey. What about my money? Well, you know the routine, Kenny. Cash on delivery. You get your money, and we get a merchandise. Just give me an advance. You know I'm good for it. Mr. Maurer gave you an advance on the last one. She was a no-show. She got a point there, Kenny. In fact, the way I see it, you owe me. <laughs> now, you try and keep this one happy, yeah? You know, I've been hearing that every day for a week. She's on the wire service. What the hell does that mean? I want to know what you people are doing to find my daughter, for God's sake. Mr. Guthrie, thousands of kids run away in this country every day. We can't track them all. Now, we're doing the best we can. That's great. That's just great. Listen, you pay your damn taxes for years. And then when you really need help, nobody cares. Let's get out of here. We're just going to alienate them, Jack. How's that going to help? All right. You always have all the answers. What do you suggest? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Doesn't mean anything. Come on, let's go. You blame me for all this, don't you? No, Suzanne, I don't blame you. Well, you never call me Suzanne unless you're angry, so what is it? Okay, fine. I just wish you talked to me before going off and making unilateral decisions about our daughter. What? This thing with Kenny. Forbidding Kristen from seeing him. Oh, and how would you have handled it? I don't know. The point is, we should have talked about it. Kristen would have wrapped you around her little finger just like she always does. You know, if I've been easy with Kristen, maybe it's because you've always been so damn hard on her. You're always pushing, pushing. No wonder she ran away with the first guy that came along. I just uh, wanted her to do something with her life. Why, Suzanne? Because you didn't? Has your life really been such a disappointment? Maybe today we could do something, like sightseeing or... We don't have any money. There's no left for Miss Gilgans? It's got to last us all week. I'm really sorry, Christian. You know, I bet we could get some money for that ring. Sell my grandmother's ring? No, I, I could never do that. But no, 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 not sell it. We could, you know, just, like, pawn it. we get it back later. Kenny, I can't. It's all I have left of my family right now. I thought I was your family. Oh, you are. It's just... I'm sorry. Okay. Where are you going? Get a job. Can't live on a lousy hundred bucks a week. What am I supposed to do all day? Watch TV. Hang out by the pool. I'll see you later. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Okay, yes. Yeah, 
stuff was hot. Welcome to Louisiana, where the clams steam themselves. <laughs> Kristen, this is Pammy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow. They're moving all over the place today. They? Twins. You want to feel them? Oh, I don't think I should. Come on. It's really cool. Ricky. I can tell he's the strongest. He always hangs out on that side. <laughs> That's Lucy. You name them. Ricky and Lucy. Can you believe that? It's my favorite show. But I mean, is that a good idea? Giving them names? No. I don't care. I mean, they're little people. Gotta call them something, right? <laughs> Do your parents know? There's just my mom. She kicked my butt out when she found out I was pregnant. Doesn't matter, though. She's always drunk anyway. Well, I guess that we're all kind of like you found these people, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Luck never stops. Well, all I know is that when I found out I was pregnant, I just felt like killing myself. Oh, no. You can't do that, no matter what. Because if you do, you just have to come back and do your whole life over. <laughs> what, did someone come back and tell you that, Pammy? Oh, go ahead and laugh, but my life sucks and I'm not willing to take any chances. Pammy's done a lot of drugs. Oh, damn. You okay? I'm all right. Well, let me see. Just leave it alone. How long is this going to go on? What's so wrong with wanting Kristen to have a better life than we have? I mean, I... I thought you wanted that, too, for her to go to college so she could be successful. I didn't go to college, Suzanne. So what does that make me, a failure? No. God. Susie, I'm sorry. What the hell are we doing? Look. We need each other right now. More than ever. And Krista needs us too, the both of us. Just so afraid I'm never gonna see her again. Don't say that now. We're gonna find her and we're gonna bring her home. And if he's hurt her, I'll kill him. I swear I will. Tired, all right? Just fix us something to eat. I'm gonna take a shower. Hey, I think I should call my parents. What? Well, I've been talking to some of the girls around here. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff they've been telling me. Donna's father raped her. And this other girl, Pammy, her mother just threw her out when she got pregnant. Yeah, so? Well, my parents would never do anything like that. And I just think maybe they would have understood. Maybe they still will. Well, sure. If that's what you want. I, mean, I thought you wanted to protect them. I know, but I just thought that And you told me yourself that they'd be so embarrassed. And just, I mean, what if they hang up on you? Are you going to be able to handle that? I just don't want to see you get hurt. What am I going to do? I can't just let them think I'm dead or something. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you write them a letter? A letter? That way, you can let them know you're okay, and if they want to get in touch with you, they can, and if not, well, it's not going to hurt as much as if you were on the phone. Okay. A letter. And you know what? I'll mail it for you in the morning. Thanks. They're mine, and you can't make me give them up. We've already spent a lot of money on you. You're going to pay it all back. How are you going to do that? I don't care, I'll find the money, but I'm keeping my babies. You can't have them. 
Where are you going to raise them? In the streets? Because that's where you be living. I'm their mother. They belong with me. You are nothing to nobody. Those babies deserve better than likes of you. <laughs> I know you're keeping something from me. Maybe you think you're being a friend to Chris. Look, I... I gotta go. She's pregnant, isn't she? Yeah. Look, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at you. I just want to find her. There's stuff about Kenny she doesn't know. Are you gonna help me? She answered an ad. An ad? In the newspaper. About adoption. I'm sorry. Pregnant. What are we gonna do? We'll just get her back, then we'll worry about what to do. She must be so scared. It's gonna change her whole life. Wait, I think this might be it. A fully married couple unable to have children desperately wants to adopt a newborn. Your baby will have every advantage life has to offer, but most of all, lots of love. All travel expenses, medical bills, legal fees, food, and housing is provided. Please consider adoption. What's the number? 1-800-555-8246. 46. Adoption Counseling Agency. Agency? Yes, this is Jack Guthrie. My daughter, Kristen, I think she might have answered your ad. One moment, please. What'd they say? It's an adoption agency. Yes, I do show Kristen Guthrie in our files. Who are you talking to? It's Kristen Guthrie's father. Put him on hold now. Uh, could you hold on, please? Don't you ever, ever give out that kind of information. I I'm sorry, Miss Gill. I'll take the call. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Kristen Guthrie. This is her father. Uh, Kristen can't come to the phone right now. Well, she's there? I want to talk to her. Is she all right? Your daughter is fine, Miss Guthrie. She's being very well cared for, I assure you. Then put her on the phone. Well, she's not here at the moment, but I can have her call you back. What'd she say? They're going to have her call us back. Let me talk to her. Look, uh, where are you anyway? Where am I calling? Louisiana. Louisiana? What the hell kind of a place are you people running? Kristen is only 17 years old. She's a minor, for God's sake. Not in this state. With a month's residency, she's considered an adult. Look, there is no way we are going to let our daughter have a baby down there and give it away to some stranger. Mr. Guthrie, Kristen has already signed a letter authorizing us to place the baby. I'll have her call you. Goodbye. What? What? This is crazy. Apparently, in Louisiana, a 17-year-old with a month's residency is considered an adult. I don't understand. We have two weeks to find her and bring her back. I'm afraid this adoption and counseling agency is nothing but a front for a baby broker. Mrs. Bishop said she thought Kenny wanted Sarah's baby so he could sell it. Well, she was probably right. You mean our grandchild is going to be sold to the highest bidder? Not if we can get to your daughter in time. But we have to move fast, otherwise we lose all legal control over her. We know where she is. We had the call traced. We want to fly down and get her tonight. Mr. Guthrie, these people have a very sophisticated operation going. I don't want to confront them until we have all our evidence in place. Now, when is Kristen supposed to call? They said tonight. Okay. You can tell her about Kenny and Sarah, but that's it. If these people think she knows anything, well, let's just get her out of there first. I don't get this. Who are these people? How can they get away with this? According to the FBI report, the man running things is Frank Mowry. Now, up until now, he's operated on the very edges of the law. No one has been able to get him on anything. Up until now? What's that supposed to mean? Because Kristen is a minor, 
I'm going to issue arrest warrants for Maori and his partner, Lorna Gill, for interference with the custody of children and criminal conspiracy, and a warrant for Kenny for transporting a minor across state lines. You were supposed to pick runaways, girls from broken homes, not someone from the damn Brady Bunch. You didn't have to tell them she was here. I did not get where I am, Kenny, by being stupid. These are not the kind of people who just go away. They're going to stick to us like ticks on a hound's butt until they get what they want. Okay, okay, so what do we do? Not we, Kenny, you. What are you going to do? All right. Look, these people want to talk to their little girl, so fine. You will make sure she calls them, and you will make sure she tells them exactly what we want her to say. Let's go, ladies. Let's, Let's go. go. Come on. Let's go. Girl, just keep it going. Go to the car, okay? All right. Good girl. Don't let them take my babies. Please. No! Stay away! Help her! Take Kristen, we've got to talk, okay? Okay, who's going to have a baby? Look, we've got our own problems. Your parents have tracked us down. They're here? No, they called. And they want to talk to you. Now listen to me. No matter what they say, no matter how hard they come down on you, I want you to know something. I love you, and I'm going to be right here by your side. Oh, Kenny, maybe they'll say I can come home, and then we can go back. I don't like it here. Babe, I know it's been rough, and if you want to go home, I understand. But you got to know, your parents aren't going to let us be together. Yes, they will. They can't stop us. No way they're going to let me near you. If you go home, we're never going to see each other again. Hello? Mrs. Guthrie? Yes? I'd like to call yes, I'll accept charges. Kristen! Thank God, how are you? I'm fine. We've been so worried, honey. I'm sorry, Mom. Why didn't you call? Why didn't you tell us you were in trouble? I couldn't. I was too ashamed. I guess I really let you down this time, huh? You hate me, don't you? Kristen, we love you. We love you so much. There's nothing, nothing you could do that could ever change that. You can come to us about anything, you know that. No. No, I can't. You wanted a perfect kid, Mom. That's not me. It never was. Honey, it's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. I'm so sorry you were worried. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just... That's all right, sweetheart. We know this wasn't your doing. You've got to get away from that guy. He's back knows. Kenny loves me, and I love him. Kristen, listen to me. There's a girl over in Remington, Sarah. Sarah Bishop. He got her pregnant, too. No. It's true, sweetheart. In the day you left, he went by her house, and he tried to steal the baby. I don't believe you. You're just saying that to break us up. Kristen, I don't want to scare you. But these people you've gotten involved with, they're not what they seem. Now, please. Please, honey, let us come and get you. Everything will be all right, I promise. The only way I'm coming home is if Kenny can come with me. Now, the only place Kenny's going is to jail. Jeff, no. Kristen? Kristen? Oh, damn it. I blew up. I'm sorry. I'm... You did really, really good, brown eyes. I'm proud of you. Kenny, who's Sarah Bishop? Beats me. My parents said that you got her pregnant and that you tried to take the baby. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Is it true? What? Are you kidding? No, of course it's not true. Don't you see what they're trying to do? They're trying to turn you against me, break us up. You gonna buy that crap? They said they love me. They want me to come home. Well, it's up to you. But if you want to go home, you go alone. Jack. You were right. It's my fault. I pushed her away. Don't do this to yourself, Susan. You just hadn't been so demanding. Stop it. All parents grow up sometimes. 
What do you think keeps shrinks in business? Listen. When Kristen comes home, and she will come home, we're all going to get together as a family and straighten this whole thing out. I just hope we get to her in time before she gives her baby away. I want her to know she has that choice. I don't know what to do. I know my parents love me. I love Kenny so much, you know? And they're both making me choose. Miss Gill, how's Pammy? Does she have the babies okay? Uh, Marsha, why don't you go on to room 3A? I'll be right home. Three A, that's Pammy's room. Pammy has decided to go back home. But what about the babies? Is she taking them with her? I'm afraid the babies were still born. Dead? Pammy's babies were born dead? I know. It's very sad. Excuse me. I don't understand. They were moving. I felt them. God for Pammy. These damn weeds. They ruin everything. Isn't that bad for the baby? It's not for keeping it. You look mad. Turner? What's it like to give up the baby? Is it hard? Ah, yeah, well, it was the first time, you know. Even with the rape and all, you get attached. But I got over it. The second one, I didn't let myself think about it. And this one, well, it's not even mine. Never was. Maybe we should try to find Pammy. Do you know what hospital they took her to? Let it go. Oh, she's got to need us, though. She's got to feel awful about the babies. You got to let it go. There's nothing anyone can do for Pammy now. Babies. Oh, no, no, Miss Gill said they died. No! They told me that, too. But it's a lie. Kristen, I heard them crying right after they were born. And they, they gave me some drugs. They thought I couldn't hear them, but I could. Maybe you just thought you... They're alive. So you've got to believe me. I do, okay. Kristen, I have no money. I have no place to go. I've got to find my babies. There you are. You shouldn't have left the hospital. You are still very weak. Come, <laughs> Bernard will take you back. Please, please, please. Please. Let her go. No. She can come with us, please. Leave her alone. Okay? Please don't make it. We better help What? What? She's crazy, Kristen. Don't pay any attention to her. How do you know that? Maybe her babies are still alive. Her babies are dead. It's too bad, but that's the way it is. She said that when Look, she was... Mrs. Gill will take care of her, all right? Come on inside. You're soaking wet. You don't want to get sick, do you? You have confirmation of that? I have the parents right here. They'll be on the morning flight. Thank you. They've located Kristen and Kenny at an apartment complex. The police are going to pick them up. Thank God. Oh, Gary, I'd like you to meet Suzanne and Jack Guthrie. Oh, this is Gary Pritchard. He's a junior probation officer. Gary's had a lot of experience with runaways. I want him to fly down with you and carry the warrants. Here's a file on young Mr. Trask. It's not good news. What does it say? Well, not only does Maori recruit young pregnant girls, but it looks like Kenny's working for him as well. It seems that uh, Kenny's been crisscrossing the country like a regular little Johnny Appleseed. Let's just go now. Just I want to get Kristen back. Okay. It's not going to be that simple. They're, they're not just going to put her on a plane and send her home. That's true. They'll try to stall until Kristen meets the residency requirement. How can they get away with this? Maori has powerful friends. He's invested a lot of time and money on Kristen. He's not a man who likes to lose on his investments. God. What do we do if we don't get her back in time?
They're dragging their feet just like Miss Whitehouse said. Where are they? Mr. Guthrie. Where's Kristen? Well, we had to check out the paperwork, make sure everything was in. Kristen was supposed to have been waiting for us when we got here. That was uh, two hours ago. Then you people said she's on her way. Now, what the hell is going on? Where is she? We want to see her now. You two better keep a respectful tongue in your head. Okay, okay. Nobody wants any trouble. These are the girl's parents. They're a little upset. I think you guys can understand that. Now, you looked over the paperwork. Everything's in order. When are we going to see some arrests? Mr. Mowry and Miss Gill left town today. Okay, what about the boyfriend, Kenny? Got a warrant for him, too. We know they're staying in a local apartment complex. Yes, and we're going to bring him in. Look, I just want to get Kristen and go home. Well, now, we're going to arrest Mr. Trask. But your daughter, no, that's another matter. What are you talking about? Well, we have no arrest warrant for her. And as far as I know, she's broken no Louisiana law. Yeah, we got no cause to bring her in. Well, you better just find cause. Because I'm not leaving here without my daughter. You want a warrant? I'll have one faxed to you. Just let me use a damn phone. I believe all our lines are busy just now. Well, find me one that isn't. There's a payphone down the hall. In other news, the body of an unidentified teenage girl was found floating in a reservoir this morning. The victim of an apparent suicide. The girl is described as having very short red hair and a small gold ring through her right nostril. She may have recently given birth. Authorities are asking anyone who may have information about her to So, what do you want us to do? It's an arrest warrant. I want you to pick her up. Yeah, but they're just runaway charges. Hell, the girl isn't even from this state. Hardly worth taxpayers' money if you ask me. <laughs> she wouldn't happen to be one of Maori's girls, would she? There's no real proof of that. Bring her in. Now. <laughs> get packed. We gotta get out of here. Hey. No, you don't understand. She would never kill herself. We talked about it. She didn't believe in it. She would I never... said get packed! Something happened to her that you have to go to the police. Would, would you shut up about Pammy? All right? We have our own problems. We can't go anywhere near the cops. Your parents know where we are. We have to hide out for just a few more days, just until you're legal. Then they can't touch us. Okay? Now do as I say. I'm scared. I just want to go home. Yeah, well, it's too late for that. The only place you're going is jail. Jail? You're a runaway. That's what they do to runaways. Do you want to have that baby in jail? All by yourself? Because I won't be there to help you. Okay. Okay, look. It's all right. It's okay, I'm here. I'm right here, baby. I'm gonna be here too. I'm always going to protect you, okay? You just got to trust me, okay? Will you do that? Will you trust me? Let's go. Let's go. Kristen, come on. Come on. Kristen, it's okay. It's all right. Hello, sweetheart. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, baby. It's okay. We're here. Everything's gonna be all right. Kristen, we love you so much. We want you to come home. You can keep the baby. You don't have to give it up. Keep the baby? No, I don't want to keep it.
son of a bitch. If you ever come near my daughter again, if you ever try to contact her, I will break your trashy little Daddy, neck. Daddy, no. Kenny. Come on. Kenny? Where are they taking him? He's going to be prosecuted for taking you across state lines. I hope you rust in jail. No, you have to help him. I love him. No. Kristen, he lied to you. Don't you say that. He got you pregnant to sell the baby. That's crazy. Honey, it's true. Let's talk about this when we get home. I'm not leaving without Kenny. Kristen, you don't have a choice. You're under arrest. You'll be released back in your parents' custody as soon as we get you to Arizona. Let's go. Come on. I'll never forgive you for this. Never. Come on. Kristen. Somebody here to see you. Hi. Hi. Maybe you two would like to go to the movies this afternoon. I'll treat. Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. Well, Dad and I have to leave for a while. We'll see you later. Kristen, I'm really sorry. I didn't want to tell your mom made me. Yeah, she was real good at that. She's trying to make me keep the baby. But I'm not going to. Hmm. So, are you going to come back to school? Oh, sure, like this? <laughs> well, no, but after you could. I really miss you. I miss you, too. God. Everything is such a mess. Did you know my parents had Kenny arrested? He's in jail. I need you to do me a favor. Well, yeah, sure. What is it? Mail this for me. Kristen, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, I've been hearing some really bad things about him. Selling babies? It's a lie. We just got mixed up with the wrong people, that's all. It wasn't his fault. Please, Janine. I want him to know I still love him. Okay. You're saying that Maori and Lorna Gill are just going to go free? No, of course not. Maori has agreed to pay a $10,000 fine and to enter a program of rehabilitation. That's nothing. That's a slap on the wrist. What about the girl who had twins then turned up dead? Is anyone even investigating that? I've given the local DA everything Kristen told us. So that's it. I'm sorry. I really am. But my hands are tied. This office has no jurisdiction in Louisiana. Come on. You people could bring Maori back if you wanted to. You could put him on trial for what he did to Kristen alone. Mr. Guthrie, you have to understand something. This is not a rich county. To extradite Maori and Gill and put them on trial here would be very expensive. And there's no guarantee we'd get a conviction. But I am really very sorry. But unfortunately, that's the reality. A reality? Yeah. Thanks for all your help. said a word since we left the doctor. Come on. Wasn't it just a little bit exciting seeing your baby's picture on that ultrasound? <laughs> I don't know why you're so hard for me to keep this baby. Doesn't it spoil all your great plans for me? You know, I, I know you're upset with us, but this anger, this bitterness, it's not you certainly see Kenny's influence. You don't know him. You don't know anything about him. Maybe not, but I know somebody who does. Where are we? Somebody I want you to meet. Hello, Sarah. 
Hi, Mrs. Guthrie. I'd like you to meet my daughter, Kristen. Kristen, this is Sarah Bishop. Hello, Kristen. Where are you going? I'll be back in an hour. Mom! This is Lucas. You want to hold him? I know. He looks a lot like Kenny, doesn't he? Kristen. Can you just go away? I can't do that, sweetheart. I brought you some soup and crackers. I'm not hungry. Kristen, I'm so sorry. About what? You were right. You should be happy. Happy? Oh, baby. I would have given my life to save you from this hurt. Don't you know that? You did real good in there. Hi, we have a little visitor. <laughs> oh boy, look at that. He's a handsome guy, isn't he? Can you meet your mama? No, I'm not keeping him. I'm giving him up for adoption. He needs real parents. Honey, we're a family. <laughs> This little guy here is our grandson. And we're going to be here for both of you. I just want everything to be like it was before. I know you do, sweetheart. But you can go back to school. You can have your friends, your life. We'll be here to help you. Come on, sweetheart, let me help you. Okay. Yes. You see, babies bring good luck. Maybe this will be a first start for all of us. It's so important to me that you keep the baby. And I want you to know the truth. When I was 16, I got pregnant too. My parents were so ashamed of me that they sent me away to Chicago to a home for unwed mothers. 
I was alone. I was scared. When my baby was born, they wouldn't even let me see it. But a nurse told me later that it was a little baby boy. Mama. When I came home, my mother said we would never talk about it again. And we never did. But I never forgot about it. My little baby boy. I always wondered if he was safe and happy. You know, you have the same birthstone. I have a brother. See, that's why I wanted you to know you had a choice. Because my parents didn't give me one. Why didn't you ever tell me about this? I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to be the perfect mom in your life. I was afraid you'd be ashamed if you knew about it. Oh, wow. Coming back was such a good idea. I'll never catch up. It'll be okay. It's just your first day. Oh. Don't pay any attention to them. They'll be talking about someone else next week. It's not just them. It's everything. It's like I don't know where I belong anymore. What's it like? I mean, having a baby and everything? Is it weird? It's definitely weird. It's like he's not even mine. I know I'm supposed to be feeling all this stuff for him, and I don't. I don't feel anything. She'll be outside while it's still warm. Baby's still sleeping? Yeah. Good, I'm gonna go down this door. Mom! Don't worry, I'm not gonna be going long. I'll be fine. Beautiful brown eyed girl. Kenny, what are you doing here? That's no way to greet a guy. I missed you like crazy. I read your letter over and over again. It was the only thing that kept me going. Forget it, Kenny. I met Sarah Bishop. I know what you tried to do to us. Look, whatever she said, she said because she was jealous. I broke it off with her the day that I met you. I don't want to hear this. Well, you have to hear it. 
You have to listen to me because I love you. Oh, baby. Not a day went by when I didn't think about you. Miss you. I want to hold you. John after my dad. I like it. Can I hold him? No. Oh, come on. I'm the daddy. Please. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you doing? This is your daddy <laughs> talking to you. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Hey. He's got my eyes. I came here to tell you, I want us to get married, be a family. Look, I know it won't be easy, but we belong together, the three of us. <laughs> Kenny, I don't know. You just let me take care of everything. Just go pack your bag and let's get out of here. No, I'm not running away. Look, we've got no choice. Where are you going? Just get your stuff. I'm going to go wait in the car. Give me my baby. He's my baby, too. Give it to me. so I can see them. You want to get out of the car? Real slow, son. Seems fine. The state police picked up Trask early this morning. Where is he? I want five minutes with him. Just five minutes. He's in jail, but frankly, I don't think we're going to be able to hold him. What? We booked him for child endangerment and reckless driving. Reckless driving? How about kidnapping? He says it's his kid. I guess you never thought you'd see me again, huh? Hey, brown eyes. Don't call me that. Get her out of here. Look at me. I said look at me! No touching, please. You told me once that you didn't have a family. It's probably a lie like everything else. But I believed you. And I loved you so much that I thought I could make up for that. I thought John and I could. He would have loved you, Kenny. And you were gonna sell him. He wouldn't have cared how much money you had or where you lived. Just that you loved him. He would have been your family. We both would have. What do you want from me? It's 
So what is this? It says you give up all rights to John forever. I want you to sign it. <laughs> From your lawyer? Well, well. Still full of surprises, aren't we? Look, I don't know how much you would have gotten for a son. But this is all I have. It's yours. Got a pen? teaches us that all things happen for a reason. We're a much closer family now. There are no more secrets. Most important, Kristen knows how proud her dad and I are of her. Not for what she may achieve in life, but for who she is inside. And this, I hope, is something she will pass on to her own child.